Now, while there is only one case confirmed right now here, many people have family and friends in quarantine areas miles away and across state lines. 10 News reporter Megan Woods joins us live with how this impacts two sisters living right now in Blacksburg. Good morning, Jenna. So those two sisters, they're originally from New Rochelle, New York, the same place where a drive up facility is located. They're here in, in Blacksburg and uh, they are one of them is working towards their doctorate at Virginia Tech. Now, the last time they were in New York was for Thanksgiving visiting family. Well, now because of the coronavirus, they don't know the next time they can visit. Kind of grew up reading these pandemic books, but I never really wanted to live one. Are you gonna get to many, New Rochelle is known as the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic in New York. But to sisters Hannah and Talia Weiss, who live in Blacksburg, the city will always be home. It's still very weird to see like my elementary school, my middle school, my high school. They're actually all within that containment zone. So they were shut down before all the other schools are shut down. And it's just, it's very strange. The news of tents, hazmat suits, medical masks, and a testing drive through taking over where their father, brother, and a list of friends still live came as a sudden shock. My lab mate basically texted me and was like, are you okay? Uh, uh, aren't you from New Rochelle? And I think I received like 10 messages in a row, and then I turned around and called my dad. And made what seemed like a distant possibility a surreal reality. Everything's shut down, there's a quarantine zone. Like, I don't know if I was expecting that to actually happen anywhere. Now friends and family have to support exciting moments like Talia's doctorate presentation at Virginia Tech virtually. That's kind of disappointing because it's usually like a big moment to share like what you've been doing for the past 10 years uh, with your friends and family. The sisters do tell us that they are concerned on the impact coronavirus will have on Southwest Virginia. And as for their brother and father, they're doctors, so they say they are trying to keep in constant contact with them. I'm Megan Woods, 10 News, working for you.